This week, of course, everybody's busy with Corona. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Holland and about what it means for you know the way we work at home now, how digitalization is going to be very important and how we um, how we deal with it and new things come out of it. So first Corona, I mean, uh, we have more than a thousand cases. Uh, what you see in the in the south, the hospitals are already getting full. Next week, the hospitals are getting full in the middle of the country and then the rest of the country will follow the week afterwards. Um, I must say behind the scenes, I work a lot with hospitals. I help them to, to go into digitalization, to work with the patients uh, or remotely. I have a lot of trust that we're doing the right things at the right time. The strategy of the Netherlands is cope with it. Everybody, half of the population will get it, but we have to get it slowly. So we need social distances and we implement it very seriously. A lot of people take it seriously. A lot of people do not. And come on, do that. Keep one and a half millimeter distance, wash your hands, do all these kind of things. So that's one. Secondly, I mean, of course, all the businesses are in flux. Everybody's going, what the hell do we need to do with this? And, um, you know, everybody's working at home. I work 90% of the ho at home. All the meetings are, um, are basically uh, called off. All the uh, events are called off. Uh, my business is going to hell in the first half year. I have zero sales, but that's okay. I mean, I can, I can deal with it, but it's, it's quite severe for everybody, for restaurants, for theaters, for museums, for, for airlines. I mean, it, the, the whole industry will probably work at about 50% uh, maximum. There are people driving around here, but I mean, there's absolutely, it, it's about one third of the amount of cars driving there. So what do I do? I try to figure out what to do. So for, for example, I'm now going to a place where um, uh, we go to the solar exhibition, which was canceled. And I now, for the company who basically was one of the exhibitions, I'm now interviewing people from China, Germany, all the news about the solar industry, which increased 50%, which is going to increase another three times. I mean, it's really good news for the solar industry, but I now do it for Skype and I'm going, I build a little studio and I interview everybody. So I try to make an exhibition digital because people still need the product information, they need the inspiration, they need to know what's new and uh, that's what's happening now. I also work with schools. So there's this newsletter you see, you did, and she explains to all the teachers um, which want to know how to use Google Classroom and how to use Meetup with the kids and what are the lessons learned. And um, you know, so she basically, she works at home and in the, uh, in, the, in the school, but all the kids are at home. They, have a, they, have an, uh, they, they start with a meeting in the morning, they end with a meeting in the morning. They basically have, uh, you can see how they all get the, um, the homework and how, you can, how they basically can make it. And so she's giving a presentation about that. It's really, it's really interesting. It's really nice to see how everybody becomes creative. This is really great for digitalization and all the companies are doing the same. I'm doing the same for uh, hospitals helping people in hospitals how to work with each other with patients with remotely and in the next couple of weeks i'm going to review all the tools which are available and of course i'm going to use the, the known ones like the webex and um, and, the, and the, the zoom and the meetup from google and but also how you can use whatsapp or how you can use skype or um, you know those kinds of tools and there are special tools for the healthcare industry, which are basically much more, you know, uh, with the norms and the and the and the rules and regulations. So every week, I'm going to uh, make a review of a particular platform and why you should use that. So that is really, uh, I think, uh, interesting. So this afternoon, we've worked the whole week at home, and we're going to have a drinks together. So it's called Komibo, the co the Corona Middag Bowl. And uh, it's a Dutch, um, it's a Dutch bottle for it's a Dutch drink session for. But everybody is at home, and we have music. We have we have um, uh, musicians which are playing all over uh, all over uh, the Netherlands, and they're basically being uh, logged in with their phone, and they get they present from home. They basically play music at home. So that's at five o'clock this afternoon. It's a lot of music, so it's fun, but it's going to be Dutch, and we hope to have uh, about ten thousand. About 10,000 people. So we, we just try to recreate the things we really love and to do it in an, uh, in an, uh, in a nice way. So that's this afternoon. Go me go. Go me go .nl. So if you're from uh, if you're from America, come take a look at five o'clock. 
you know, just um, Amsterdam time. And I also have one more, uh, you know, interesting interview I did, which is not uh, Comico, but that's really important because it's about logistics and I have um, Deliver, and that's an English, uh, English interview. And it's about uh, how the ABN Embro, Samsung, and the harbor of Rotterdam are creating a new platform to make uh, logistics uh, container uh, logistics shipping much more efficient with blockchain. I mean, also those kinds of things need to continue because it's unbelievable how primitive that industry is. It's really, it's such a paper-based business and to build a good platform uh, increases productivity, you know, hugely. So, but anything is Corona. I'm in, I'm in the middle now of uh, of rush hour. You know, it's 8:30. There's nobody here on the streets. Nobody, nobody, nobody. It's it's just like one tenth of the amount of cars. Some people have to go, uh, but everybody's working at home. It's a great time for digitalization. Uh, Holland is preparing, taking it seriously. Most of them stay away one and a half meter from each other, but uh, but just keep on thinking what this can do. To recreate your, um, you know, your 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 work um, your work day because you can be, really do a lot and I, I normally had already at least sixty percent of my meetings digitally I'm really I like it and um, and and that's I think there's going to be a huge increase so a lot of good things will happen from this I hope that they come up with uh, you know medicine uh, to to basically fix uh, the problem but we have to deal at this moment with it so. Okay, that was it. I hope that you will do well. Keep safe. Keep yourself, take care of each other. And also just help each other to basically keep a little bit of distance so that we can be safe together. The distance part is important. And I'm going to also include a fantastic video. I mean, at the end, you have to watch this with your kids, with your teenagers, but also with the grown-up. It's a fantastic um, YouTuber who explains how you can see the germs and how they go all over the place. It's a wonderful video to watch this uh, to watch this uh, weekend. Enjoy. Okay. Stay safe. See you later.